Hello, and welcome to this edition of the CSIAC podcast series. In today's episode, we'll be examining Trojan malware, which has become the top organizational threat to businesses. We also invite you to check out and discover more original content available on our website at www.csiac.org. Cybercriminals have developed many methods to exploit browser applications in order to obtain individuals' credentials. These types of cybercriminals and methods are known as information stealers. They commonly steal login information, such as usernames and passwords, and utilize key loggers to capture user keystrokes. Let's explore some Trojan malware that steal information. Emotet is a Trojan malware that targets window-based computers and was originally designed to steal sensitive private information from banking customers. Later versions of this software were modified to enable Emotet to be spread via spam emails or mal spam. There are three primary ways that Emotet is disseminated. These include the use of a malicious script or link or a macro enabled document file. The goal is to have the email appear to be a legitimate message in order to entice the user to access the malicious file. Here we can see the evolution of the banking Trojans. In the latter half of 2018, modifications were made to the Emotet code to add a capability to exfiltrate email. This enhanced Trojan malware entitled TrickBot became the top threat attackers employed to penetrate organizational business networks. The UK's National Cybersecurity Center issued an advisory warning urging organizations to take action by implementing mitigation protocols. So what exactly is TrickBot? It's a modular banking Trojan which employs man in the browser attacks to steal financial information. Mail spam campaigns are used to send unsolicited emails. The objective is to trick users into downloading malware from an infected website or opening malware through an attachment. The server message block, SMB protocol, is exploited to enable TrickBot to transit over a network. Now let's examine a typical trick bot malware exploit in more detail. It is usually spread via malicious spam campaigns. TrickBot employs social engineering strategies and techniques such as spear phishing emails to induce potential human errors. An individual may carelessly open an attachment and mindlessly enable a macro which first downloads the malware onto the user's computer and then eventually spreads across the organization's network. At this point, TrickBot starts receiving instructions from the command and control C2 servers and is ready to download modules which are sent along with a configuration file. After receiving the infected host system information, the initial TrickBot C2 server sends information that will enable additional modules to be downloaded. TrickBot uses two different types of web injections to steal financial information from online baking sessions to defraud its victims. The first method is a redirection attack which sends the victim to a fake website which is hosted on a malicious server and harvests the victim's login information. The second method is a server-side injection, which intercepts the response from a bank server and uses form grabbing to steal an individual's banking credentials. TrickBot is distributed via group tags, or G tags. The G tags uniquely identify specific TrickBot campaigns 
which send data to the C2 servers. Osterman Research conducted a 2018 study to determine the true cost of cybercrime. Within the last year, over 75% of U.S. organizations have either experienced the phishing attack or witnessed spear phishing attacks. Given these numbers, it's very easy to understand why this type of attack vector is extremely popular. In addition, just slightly over a quarter of individuals targeted by a phishing attack didn't even bother to report them. This situation is highly unacceptable in a business environment. Therefore, it is strongly recommended that organizations institute some type of security awareness training program for their employees in order to mitigate the risks and negative impacts from these potential attacks. While an end user is unlikely to notice the effects of a TrickBot attack, system administrators will probably see changes in network traffic or attempts to access blacklisted IPs and domains. An astute network admin may be able to recognize these discrepancies and take steps to thwart a TrickBot attempt. The importance of security awareness training in state and local governments cannot be understated. In 2016, a nationwide survey of local government cybersecurity was conducted for the very first time ever. As it turns out, state, local, tribal, and territorial SLTT, governments are highly vulnerable to these types of attacks. In fact, the results of this survey were quite shocking. The study focused on two main areas. How many SLTTs are under near constant attack but are not fully aware of it? And two, how many are prepared to actually respond to an attack and have the cybersecurity staff to support this? As the saying goes, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. One of the easiest and most effective ways to stop threats like TrickBot, which are spread via mal spam and phishing campaigns, is to train users to spot suspicious emails. Users should also report suspicious email messages immediately. This will considerably reduce the amount of time spent on detecting an event and improve the response to effectively ameliorate the effects of phishing attacks. CSIAC has created and published a wide range of cyber awareness, training, and educational products, such as webinars and podcasts, which are available for free on our website. If you are interested in learning more details about the TrickBot malware, I would definitely encourage you to check out the companion web article to this podcast. On behalf of the CSIAC, we would like to thank you for viewing this podcast. We hope you found the information useful and informative. If you would like to provide us with feedback, please comment on this video or visit our website at www.csiac org where you can also find additional content to review thank you did you know that csiac offers free monthly webinars featuring experts in the areas of cybersecurity, software engineering modeling and simulation and knowledge management come see leading industry professionals talk about industry practices and leading research make sure to visit www.csiac.org forward slash webinars in order to subscribe to our mailing list and see when the next webinar series is available. There you can also watch previous webinar series to catch up. Visit www.csiac.org forward slash webinars.